I want you to give all the love to Shishun Ho Shanghai Foreign Language School from China, my ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so good to have you here. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Shishun Ho from Shanghai, China. Um, this is my project, so I won the Dudley R. Hirschbach Award at International Science and Engineering Fair. And I'm here to present my research on silk-derived highly dispersed nickel, supported by nitrogen doped carbon nanosheet for carbon dioxide fixation. So first, a quick introduction about carbon dioxide and silk. As a result of our excessive combustion of fossil fuel, we have an accumulated level of atmospheric carbon dioxide. So we are having this kind of greenhouse gas, which is our environmental problem. Also, we are running out of fossil fuel, which is our in energy problem. So a possible solution is artificial photosynthesis, which mimics natural photosynthesis in converting carbon dioxide, the greenhouse gas, into something useful, such as fuels or chemicals. The problem is carbon dioxide is like a very stable molecule. So in nature, we've got enzymes to help us in converting carbon dioxide into glucose. For industry, we also need some catalysts to convert carbon dioxide into all kinds of molecules. And silk, on the other hand, has been enjoying a wide range of applications in all over the world, especially in China, in clothing, cosmetics, and biocompatible material. This must be the result of its unique chemical structure and properties. So I came to wonder about the exact chemical structure of silk and its potential application in carbon dioxide fixation. So silk, it turns out that it's a protein in beta sheet structure, so it has the rich amino groups, the rich coordination sites, and the ability to maintain morphology upon carbonization. So using these two properties, I prepared a catalyst called highly dispersed nickel supported by nitrogen doped carbon nanosheet. So first, the amino groups in silk coordinate with nickel ions and absorb them from an aqueous solution of nickel nitrate. Then, when carbonized, as the uh, silk was able to maintain its 2D morphology upon carbonization, the nickel remained highly dispersed. And I wonder about, like, for scientific curiosity, I wonder about if the ability to maintain morphology upon carbonization is essential for the successful synthesis of the cactus. So I chose two other natural material, cotton and chitosan, which are both uh, with rich coordination sites, but they are not able to maintain their morphology upon carbonization. So if I cannot successfully synthesize highly dispersed nickel supported by nitrogen doped carbon nanosheet from cotton or chitosan, then I know that the ability to maintain morphology upon carbonization of silk is essential for the successful synthesis of the catalyst. And then I wonder if the active sites in my cactus are like the nickel or the nitrogen. So I try to synthesize um, nitrogen doped carbon from the direct pyrolysis of silk. So if the nitrogen doped carbon is not an active cactus for carbon dioxide fixation, then I know the highly dispersed nickel is an efficient cactus for carbon dioxide fixation. Um, so from structural characterization, um, we can see that um, highly dispersed nickel supported by nitrogen doped carbon nanosheet is only successfully synthesized from nickel and silk. We cannot synthesize, synthesize that from nickel and chitin or nickel and cotton. So this means that the uh, silk's ability to maintain morphology upon carbonization and its rich coordination sites are both essential conditions for the successful synthesis of the cactus. And from electrochemical measurement, we can see the nickel, highly dispersed nickel supported by nitrogen doped carbon nanosheet that we see inside from silk and nickel show a very high current density and also a high ferritic efficiency of converting carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide. Uh, it's approaching 100%, so it means that every carbon dioxide can be converted to carbon monoxide, which is an important industrial fill and chemical. We can use it directly as fill, or it can be converted easily to urea, which is an important fertilizer. Um, so, and also, we can see that what we synth the nitrogen doped carbon, which we synthesize from um, the direct pyrolysis of silk, is demonstrating like no efficiency in the conversion of carbon dioxide. We know that the active sites are highly dispersed nickel. And also, what is good is that my cactus demonstrate a long time stability of over 17 hours, so the effect lasts. 
So in conclusion, I have developed a general method for the synthesis of highly dispersed metal supported by carbon, which is an important category of catalyst, not only for carbon dioxide fixation, but also for other reactions such as water splitting or dinitrogen fixation. So it has important value. And the general method includes using like ma starting materials with rich coordination sites and the ability to maintain morphology upon carbonization. And for the active sites in my catalyst are highly dispersed nickel. And in general, what is most important is that I have developed a very efficient catalyst for artificial photosynthesis with like extremely high activity and selectivity towards carbon monoxide production. So in the future, I look forward to the generalization of the synthetic method. I look forward to the future investigation into unique structure and properties of silk and look for its potential applications in other areas. And most important of all, I look forward to the industrialization of artificial photosynthesis. So on a large scale, we can tackle both our energy and environmental crisis. Thank you for listening. All questions are welcome. We're showing my ladies and gentlemen. Wow, high five. Amazing presentation, thank you so much. May I ask you as well, when did you start to become interested in science and like digging into this? Um, I'm kind of interested in science ever since I was a child because uh, my mother is an environmental manager and my father invests in science and technology to convert it, them into real life applications. So it was like since childhood, I'm interested in environmental problems. And also I wonder about how to solve it. So um, when I entered high school, I became more interested in chemistry. I already learned a lot about university chemistry. And in China, there's a science talent program jointly organized by Chinese Association of Science and Technology and Chinese Ministry of Education which provided me with the opportunity to do research in high school. Yeah, so that's my research in the program. Wow, amazing, amazing. Yeah, yeah you're more than welcome to give more applause. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. We